Oh my god, he's sniffing my fingers. Dude, you don't know where. I... That's weird. You never know where somebody put their fingers at. People touch their face a lot. There's a lot of stuff on your face. Look at that Pikachu. Ah, it became my Pokemon. It's like I almost had a choice, everybody. Oh, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like to stay in one place, but it looks like it's taking a shot to you. Why don't I give him a name, Mumbai? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know, uh, Turtle. I've always found, like, uh, face reveals to be kind of, like, weird and, like, iffy, especially, like, really early on. Face reveals are kind of just, like, I don't know. I like the suspense and I like the just familiarity of just, like, you feeling like you're just right here playing the video game with me, just chilling. It's two people just chilling on the couch playing the video game. So, um, I think, like, a face reveal or, like, face cams and all that stuff kind of, like, breaks that. Yo, Retro Game, uh, Retro Gengar 41. What's up, dude? Uh, would you like to name the Poopachu? Alright, yes, I would love to name it. Please let me put in Poopachu. Please. I want Poopachu, like, so badly. If it's considered a bad word, we're gonna go ahead and go with, like, Detective or something like that. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's Poopachu. <laughs> That's amazing. My guy, I choose this one. I love looking at his name. It's like, guy is like my favorite part of this playthrough so far. All right, um, can I talk to you? For new trainer to catch their first Pokemon themselves. Even I have never seen such a thing. It's like we're changing the generations of stuff. Oh, one more thing, Jackie. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ha ask for your help with something. Take this with you on your journey. Because it's dangerous to go alone. Oh, dude. Retro Gengar. That's actually a way better thing than I did. Oh, my God. That was creative and good. What is that thing, uh, Professor? This is the Pokedex that I designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. And it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Moonbayer and Guy, I want you each to take one with you. You got a Pokedex from Prof Oak. You find you can't get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most data to make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But the cartridge can't hold more than one region, and it'd be OP because then you have Pokemon that are really strong, and then you go to the next gym, like gym leader for the next region, and you'd be fighting level five Pokemon, and it'd just be unbalanced. But an old man, <laughs> too old to get the job myself. Also that. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me, and do all my work. Mow my grass, sir. Get moving, you two. Mom's not going to cut itself. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Pokedex, huh? You meet so many Pokemon. This this keeps getting better and better. I'm set out right now, Moonbayer. You should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. Wow. The sass. My guy got the sass. Alright, so, uh. Let's go ahead and tell our mother goodbye. Oh, she's already waiting outside. Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor. What's his name? Poopachu? He just got uncute all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a lovely Pokemon. Pikachu! How energetic. I suppose that means you two will be said. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course how energetic. It's an electric Pokemon. It's literally energy. Stupid. All right, how an adventure today. I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. I was ready for you to leave my house. Leave my house. Oh, you put the town map in your back. By using the town map in your back, you know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Poop would you be good to each other. All right. All right, Mom. Thanks for the love and concern. I'm going to go out into the wild. They'll see you never, I guess. 
it to be supportive. All right, so the first things first, we need um, we need a Pidgey. I said Pidgey, not Oddish. You know, we'll take an Oddish too. We need to fight a uh, uh, Brocketta. So we need uh, we need anti-Brock weapons right now. The Oddish. Hopefully, we'll get lucky with this run and run into a Bulbasaur in the next spot. It may be mistaken for a clump of weeds. If you try to yank it from the ground, it shrieks horribly. I want to hear. I want to hear that sound of just an eye shrieking horribly. That's probably like the worst sound in the world. It's probably like a old school Chrono Trigger Lavo sound. Cora, wow. All right, so Pokemon like to be jerk in this game. So, oh my god, I almost threw that off center. The problem with this controller is my yellow controller is the left one. So there's no sensor on it. So the motion controls for it is kind of iffy. So if I'm like throwing straight, sometimes it would just go all the way to the right. Uh, this actually is actually not my first time playing it. I'm playing like through it casually as well, Retro Gengar. But um, I played Gen 1 before. And um, in my casual playthrough file, I'm on Cerulean City. I just caught 50 Pokemon to get me a Charmander. And then we're going to beat Misty after that. Um, I think if you talk to this guy, he gives you something. See those ledges? Oh, no. He just tells you you could jump from it. Like, honestly, I didn't know these were those ledges from, like, the old school games. Because ledges back in my day. Old soldiers. Jump from ledges that with like only two pixels. <laughs> All you need is a uh, mouth metal. I think everybody came because of the ad uh, turtle. Ooh, Pikachu. Oh, something. Yeah, like um, I started the ad back up. I want to say early October. No, mid October. Mid October, I started the ad back up. Because I did have it going the year before, and it got me to 3,000 subs. But now we're at 7,000 subs, which is, which is like, amazing. I, like, really appreciate that, guys. It's, like, it's nutty. Like, the girl, we just keep growing. I mean, it's slower now in December because I'm guessing, like, all the other ads are running, like, those TikTok ads that everybody loves so much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's been nutty. I'm, like, like so thankful for everybody. Yeah, I'm sad that I didn't get to do, like, much for Spook Month. I wanted to do more. I, like, honestly wanted to do more, but it was just, like, it was awkward timing. It was just, like, bad timing. Oh, what are you doing here, twerp? Shoot, go pester someone else. I can't do a good James voice. I can't do, I really can't do a good Jesse. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now. We're in the middle of guard duty, and it's very important. And then, uh, the big reveal, everybody. The Meowth that doesn't talk. Meow. Aww. Uh, when I saw that, I was sad. I was heartbroken. I was like, you got I was like, oh my god. It's gonna be a thing. Yo, there, Kip from Pallet Town. Oh my god. We walked into the, uh... We walked into the wrong side of the neighborhood, everybody. Hey, you came up from Pallet Town? You must know Professor Oak, right? I got a delivery for him, but I can't leave the Pokemon unintended right now. Why don't you just lock the store? Are you just that money hungry? And this town that is never like, ne it never goes night here. It's like currently night IRL. And it's like, it's like daytime in the game. You want to head straight back to the lab? Also skip travel confirmed. Ah, uh, the TikTok memes, guys. I, you know, like, honestly, I don't, like, see enough of the TikTok. I just only got, like, spammed with ads today. Because I was, like, watching Weeby stuff, like, JoJo stuff. And then I was like, what's going on? Why is there so many TikTok ads? <laughs> Why Moonbiter back so soon? How's little Pikachu doing? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> that face, yo. Oh. 
So now he purpose uh perpetually is on our shoulder, which is cool. We're like the anime. The anime. Goodness me, Pikachu here. Seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Moonbuyer. I think you got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? You handed the po the prof his parcel. Thank you for bringing it to me. My little guy. Hey, prof, it's about my Eevee. Its moves are trash. It's bad. Whoa, Moonbear, that's so cool. Pikachu rides on you like that? I wish my Eevee was cool. All my Eevee does is just sit in the corner and regret its decisions. Ah, now we have a Mike guy. What perfect timing. I've been delivered some handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. Some raspberries from Prof Oak. You put the raspberries in your catching pocket. Great, I've been starving. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. If you want to eat something, eat the dirt. You want to catch Pokemon, try throwing it at uh, one of your targets. Well, you take with the Pokemon here and you find them. This is another tutorial, by the way. That was close. I nearly swallowed one of them right up myself. Are they dangerous? Well, then you too. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of Pokemon or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you just remember to have fun. Anybody play that game, Xenoblade 2? Anybody know that meme? All right, so uh, as we try to leave, wait up. Come on, Moonbear. You do know you could do more of a Pokemon. And just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. It's party time. You're challenged by uh, Mike Guy. He sent out his Eevee. Oh my god. Go poop at you. Do your special move. Oh my god. He's level 6? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? He's caught no Pokemon. <laughs> uh, this game's working against me. Oh no. Alright, I hope we paralyze it. If we lose first battle. Oh my god. You start off with XP share in this mark. It's like nutty. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die immediately. Oh my god. Bodied by the first battle. Paralysis, paralysis, paralysis. Yes! Let's go! No! Yes, let's go! Oh my goodness. Uh, you guys would probably body me, but I wouldn't mind battling. I suck meta-wise for Pokemon. I don't understand, like, the Pokemon meta. I just like throwing out my favorite Pokemon. I I don't know what's, like, viable, what's smart, what you should or shouldn't do. I just throw out a Pokemon and, like, spam one move. But, yeah, I'd be down for it. I'll trade, like, two. Poopachu learned Quick Attack with Slave. Pokemon Wade and also got EXP. You beat uh, Michael Guy. What did I lose? I stole his money too. You must remember to always steal their money. Ah, oh, jeez. There I went mouthing off like I knew everything. And then I lost. How embarrassing. Yeah, get messed on, kid. I probably should train up my Pokemon a bit before battling like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. Yeah, you little hacker. Somehow got like a level six Pokemon without catching anything. Partner Pikachu seemed to like doing it. Yeah, we we're almost dead. Did you heal up my Pokemon Oak? Like a good sir? Or do I have to do that myself? How are you feeling, Pikachu? How are you feeling? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Oak. Oh yeah, definitely. I would love to play games with like fans and stuff like that. Like when Smash come Ultimate comes out, I would be down to play uh, fans. I just have to like, I have to um before that, before we do play games in Smash Ultimate, I do have to um unlock the characters, and then I have to I had to beat Jay Wits again because I'm I think I'm two zero against Jay Wits, and like uh every time he does like fan battles, I like to um I like to put myself. In the ranking. But I have to practice my shulk. I have to practice my shulk so badly. 
It's been like a year or so since I retired from Smash 4. Yo, thank you for watching this video. If you find yourself a fan of this content, why not hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of the Moon Peeps? Because even though I call you peeps, you are all my homies. If you're interested in more Moon Bear, why not follow me on Twitch for when we do our Twitch takeover? And why not follow me on Twitter as well? And if it was your birthday, happy birthday. Internet, you know where to find me.